Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Now today I have my notepad and uh, I have on here just a very simple uh, blueprint to generating 100,000 or more with sports camps. Now let me give you a disclaimer here. If you don't have any uh, clients, if you've never started a business before, I, I don't want this to sound like uh, something that's really easy. It's very difficult to do. Uh, I've seen this with multiple, multiple coaches that we've been able to help and mentor. Uh, one of the coaches that I'm helping right now, uh, two weeks ago, and this is during the pandemic. This was in uh, the beginning, very beginning of December. He ran a camp and did $20,000 profit, right? So what I'm telling you here is absolutely going to work and it's going to work a lot better for you if you already have experience in business versus not having experience. All right. So I'm just going to share a few uh, concepts and ideas that will help you get on this path. And I believe running sports camps is the most profitable uh, business model out there in the sports training industry if it's done correctly right? There's millions of camps that happen every summer in every sport imaginable. And the number one thing that you need to get out of this video is whatever camp you do, it can't be the same as everyone else. Your camp uh, needs to be unique. It could be a camp or a clinic. It has to be different. Um, and one thing that I'm seeing that is starting to becoming, I would say this is becoming more of a trend in uh, basketball, soccer, uh, football, baseball, is running um, like competition camps. So that could be for elite players or that could be for uh, beginners, it doesn't matter. Um, but having something that, you know, one player or one athlete can win. So this way, like it's more competitive and we all know now parents are a thousand times more competitive in 2020 and 2021 than they were in 2010. All right. So if you have some sort of competition based camp or your camp is unique and it's something that only you can do and something only you can do very well, you or uh, your staff members, um, if it's set up like that and if you can duplicate it in other areas, I, uh, you have a great chance of generating a lot more revenue than someone who is just doing what everyone else does. And it's very common just in the summer, go look around, go search online, see what's happening in your area. Uh, go look to see what other people are doing. And most people just do the same thing. So this is where you need to be a, a business owner and be creative. All right. So you have to be unique. That is number one. Number two, um, I feel like this, this will generate at least one to 3,000 more dollars per camp that you do, um, is you need to have a good referral strategy. And I'm not gonna go into too much depth on this right now. Like if you wanted to talk over the phone, this is, there's a lot of moving pieces with this. But essentially, uh, the strategy I like to teach is when you market, your camp, uh, once the parent pays, they will instantly go to a page where there's going to be a video and you're going to be talking about how you can, you know, they can get the next camp or next clinic for free or at a discount if they share your referral code and your referral code is a link that they can send on to other parents that they know. So they can start sharing your registration link and that will help your registration link go viral and think about it every single time one parent signs up for a camp that one parent knows at least at, like at least 20 to 30 other parents that they could share that with right so this is why like if you have a good referral strategy in place you will get more people to sign up for every camp that you run and you can let the technology take over right and it's, it's pretty simple to set up. There are a couple of moving pieces. If you want to learn more about that, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Just text me at 210-960-5771.
Um, and I can tell you more about that. Uh, next here is, you know, if you're going to have big camps, let's say you, you have a camp that does anywhere between, uh, $2,000 to $20,000. It can't just be you at the camp, right? You have to learn how to bring on other coaches, um, either by having a uh, staff or paid volunteers, or just even look in your own niche, other coaches that are in your city that you could partner with on this sort of stuff. Um, and I think that's the easiest way to start a camp is have, you know, two or three other competitors that are in your city. They already have their own audience and put on a camp together. I right? partner with those people. Uh, and you guys could have, you know, hundreds of kids at that camp. And then you want to make sure though, uh, and this is the, the big problem I see with most camps. You have to make sure that kids are getting attention. So for example, if you have a hundred kids there at the camp, if it's just you, I, I don't know how well that's going to do unless you are so comfortable, um, putting on a great camp in front of 100 kids and it's valuable for those kids. All those kids are learning. They're getting better. If that's the case, great. But for most people who can't do that, it needs to be set up to where you have multiple coaches and those coaches, uh, you're dividing them in to, uh, you know, helping kids in small groups. So those kids in small groups during the camp can get more attention. And typically when you do that, you can charge more money per registrant. Um, if you have a good, uh, coach to to player ratio all right so that one is very key and then also knowing how to pay those coaches you know are you going to pay them just straight up for the camp or are you going to pay them for their time and what sort of value do they bring to you Are are they bringing in other prospects and leads and people who can sign up for this or not right but a great way of expanding your camps is just look locally like see what's going on with other coaches and be the one in your city who's like, you know what, I want to put on uh, this camp this summer and have four of my biggest competitors and we're going to merge together and we're going to put on a big camp to help more kids. And the cool thing about that is if you're the one who puts it together, you're collecting all of the data. If you are in charge of the registration, you're collecting all of the data, which means you can do uh, future camps with those customers, right? And It would be a smart thing if you let the other coaches know that you're trying to partner with that that's what your plan is. So these coaches want to do more camps. All right. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, Next one here. And this is something I'm seeing more. Uh, A lot of coaches in our consulting program have done this together. Uh, I've seen uh, a lot of coaches start doing this a lot more. They even during the pandemic, this has happened. and what it is, is you look online, right? And specifically, you look on Instagram or Facebook and you see who are other coaches that are at your caliber and you start to network with them and see if you can put on clinics or camps together. Uh, many coaches that I'm helping right now, what they do is they start to form relationships with other people in other states, uh, other coaches in other states. And what they'll do is like, you know, one person will fly to the other uh, state, the other coach's state and run a big camp. And then that, that other coach will come back uh, to visit, uh, you know, the one who, who first went. And that is a great way to build more influence nationwide is if you have uh, strong relationships with other coaches and you can do that multiple, multiple times throughout the year. And the cool thing is if you set it up correctly, uh, you could do it where you're not even having to go do the camp. You could just send one of your assistants out there. Um, or you could just have a a system down that you're teaching to other coaches. It's also another business model. All right. So I hope this helps. Um, and in my opinion, you know, if you're wanting to grow your camps past a hundred thousand dollars, you need to do one of two different ways. All right. I recommend both of these uh, for coaches, no matter which level they're at. Uh, The first is you want to run a camp multiple times per month, right? And that all comes down to scheduling. 
So that could be a one day camp. That could be a two day camp. That could be a two hour uh, camp. It doesn't have to be a full day thing. Um, but that comes down to just doing a lot of camps. So there's a high volume of camps. And if you just break down the numbers, you know, if you run 52 camps in a year and you average $1,000 or sorry, $2,000 uh, per camp, you're clearing a hundred thousand dollars, right? That would be you doing one a week. Now I wouldn't recommend doing one a week. I, I think you could do one every other week. Um, and do like probably right around, um, I would say probably four grand. If you do one every other week, that's, you know, still $8,000 a month. Um, and, and again, if you have staff in place, it shouldn't have to be you physically doing all the work. You can be the one who's setting everything up. Right. And there's, you know, you can do a high volume of, of camps. You can do, uh, maybe two a month. Um, or you could do one per quarter. Like if you do one really big camp per quarter and you are networking with other coaches and these coaches already have a, a big uh, base of clients that they're already working with, then you should be able to achieve that number um, very similar to you know, how coaches that we're helping, how, how they're doing it. Um, so I hope this video helps. If you are a coach right now and you already have experience with camps, um, and you want to ramp it up. Um, what I'm doing is very simple with this sort of thing. I'm just offering one-on-one -on -one consulting, uh, where we just hop on a phone phone call for an hour. Um, and I can show you how to set up these systems that we're talking about. Um, I know the systems that, that I help coaches with, with the referrals, like that's made a massive difference in their business. So that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, reach out to me at 210-960-5771. You'll see my phone number right below this video. Um, that's it for today's video. I'll catch you later.